What's up guys, this is Ishix, and another quick gold guide today here how to make some gold in Dark Moon Fair. Uh, you can be any level to do this, which is just great. Um, you can have level 1 fishing on a level 1 character. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you have at all. Everything works fine. Um, there's no limit on this. You're not going to catch a bunch of junk. You'll just get the, these crates. I'll show you what we get here. We'll be fishing in the shipwreck debris, which you can find all the way around the island on the shorelines. If you have a character, a high level character, you want to do this, try to go for a character like a death knight or a shaman that has water walking because it does help out a lot so you can just walk on this because some of them are out here a bit and you probably won't be able to cast from the shoreline so we're going to be walking around the shoreline here uh, to about this area and then back down to about here over here it doesn't really have much uh, if any uh, i haven't really noticed any over there so i'm going to say disregard this whole side but all the way around here to the bottom and just going for the shipwreck debris it should be all over the place like I said, uh, there was a little bit of competition, so might not be as many as usual, but that's fine. I'll do it anyways. All right, so I'm going to go do this for about 15 minutes, and I'll be back, and uh, we'll see how much gold I actually made. Alright, so I'm just wrapping up here on the last uh, debris. During the beginning there, there wasn't many, to be honest, around the island, but like the last five minutes of the run here it just picked up amazingly. I think a couple guys left or something because the just how many are popping up is ridiculous. There's like every five feet there's one now, uh, which is kind of what I expected at the beginning, but I mean, there was a bit of competition. Uh, so we're pretty much done here, so I'm going to go ahead and head over and open up the crates and post everything up to the auction house, see what we got and you just right click the crate and it opens up with all kinds of crap a lot of it's uh, like trade goods and you can make quite a bit of gold off that and they actually drop some silver too which is pretty awesome so I'm going to go ahead and open all those up and then uh, see what we got in the end alright so everything has been posted up to the auction house I just want to remind you guys that this is pretty server dependent you might make a little bit more or less depending on your server's economy uh, also, you can get the sea turtle mount as I'm on right now. It's a really low drop chance. I think it's like 0 0.02 or something like that, but it is technically possible to get it from the Dark Moon Fair. So if you want to get this mount, you can just go farm there for a few hours and hope for the best. Uh, but good luck on that. You can also get the sea pony uh, companion thing. I've never actually had that, so I'm not really sure what it does, but you can always just check that out on Wowhead. And anyways, from the gold we made here, as you can see on screen, uh, loot from the crates, we got about 17 gold, 43 silver. Uh, Windmill cloth, we got like a couple stacks, like two or three stacks. We got 119 gold and 54 silver. Rare ore, which was the trillium and kyperite, we got 120 gold and 38 silver. Enchanting mats, we got 7 gold, 20 silver. Dark Moon Firewater, I do highly, highly recommend setting these, selling these on the auction house as they do sell for quite a bit. Um, it increases your character's size. So, uh,. People want to buy it, you know, just to show off in the main cities there. And uh, vendor trash, which included all the food we got. Uh, there wasn't much buff food, it was mostly just the normal stuff, but uh, that and some health potions. I really didn't feel like selling on the auction house because it might take a while to actually get out of there and get my goal for it. So I just ended up vendoring all that to make it fair. And as a bonus, we got four motes of harmony, uh, which is always nice. And, uh, I mean, I didn't really expect that. I didn't know you actually get Motes of Harmony there, but that's pretty awesome. So a grand total of 315 gold and 9 silver for the 15 minute run. Times that by 4 to get your hourly, and we made 1,260 gold and 36 silver. Um, this is maybe a lower number than uh, usual. Like I said, there was a lot of competition until the very end of my run, so you could easily make 1,500 plus uh, here if you, if you got the right stuff. So... Make sure you got a character that can walk on water, or you can buy the elixir of water walking, which will do the same job for you. Uh, just get an alchemist to make you one if there's not in the auction house. And that's about it. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe if you're not already. Go ahead and drop a comment uh, telling me how it went for you. 
and recommending me any more guys you want me to want to see for me. I'm really open to suggestions, and I love trying out your guys' gold areas. So go ahead and drop a comment, and take it easy, guys. All right, peace.